Welcome to Bible Quiz. Get ready for a quick true or false challenge about the Book of Apocalypse on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to support our quizzes. After you're done, share your score in the comments. We love seeing how you do and hearing any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future quizzes. Ready to test your knowledge on this iconic biblical book? Let's jump right in. Question 1. The Apocalypse was written by the Apostle Peter. And now, what do you believe? True or false? Take 10 seconds to think. The correct answer is false. The Apostle John, not Peter, was the author of the book of Revelation. Question 2. The Apocalypse mentions a zombie apocalypse as part of the end-time events. Consider carefully, is it true or false? You have 10 seconds. What we're looking for is false. There is no mention of a zombie apocalypse in the book of Revelation. Question 3. The apocalypse contains a series of visions given to the Apostle John. True or false? Reflect for 10 seconds. The definitive answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Question 4. The apocalypse predicts the invention of flying cars in the end times. What are your thoughts? True or false? Ponder for a moment. And so, the answer is false. The book of Revelation does not predict the invention of flying cars. Question 5. The first vision in the apocalypse is of seven golden candlesticks. Do you agree or disagree? True or false? Take a brief moment to think. The reveal shows us, true, book of Revelation, chapter 1, verses 12 to 13. And I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Question 6. The eight stars in the right hand of the Son of Man represent eight churches. Your intuition, true or false, please take ten seconds to decide. The verdict is clear. It's false. The seven stars in the right hand of the Son of Man represent the angels of the seven churches, not eight stars representing eight churches. Book of Revelation, chapter 1, verses 16 and 20. Question 7. The apocalypse predicts the rise of a global corporation that controls all resources. Is this statement true or false, in your opinion? Contemplate for 10 seconds. The appropriate response is false. 
The book of Revelation does not specifically predict the rise of a global corporation controlling all resources. Question 8. The Apostle John was on the island of Patmos when he received the visions in the apocalypse. What's your perspective? True or false? You have a moment to think. The awaited answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 9. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Question 9. The apocalypse predicts a time when there will be no more death. Do you concur, true or false? Take a short while to reflect. As it turns out, the answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Question 10. The Apocalypse mentions four horsemen, each representing a different aspect of divine judgment. Your judgment, true or false, give it 10 seconds of thought. Indeed, the answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 6, verses 1 to 8. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering, and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was Death and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword and with hunger and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. Question 11. The Apocalypse states that one of the horsemen rides a purple horse. What does your insight say, true or false? Think for 10 seconds. Unveiling the answer, it is false. The book of Revelation, chapter 6, verses 1 to 8, introduces the four horsemen without mention of a purple horse. The colors of the horses mentioned are white horse, often interpreted as representing conquest or pestilence. Book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 2. Red horse, symbolizing war and bloodshed, Book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 4. Black horse, representing famine. Book of Revelation, chapter 6, verses 5 to 6. Pale horse, representing death. Book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 8. 
Question 12. The apocalypse predicts the development of mind-reading technology by governments. Would you say true or false? Let's take 10 seconds to consider. The accurate answer is false. The Book of Revelation does not predict the development of mind-reading technology by governments. Question 10. The apocalypse predicts the colonization of Mars by humans as a sign of the end times. How do you see it, true or false? A moment for your thoughts. Shedding light, the answer is false. There is no prediction about the colonization of Mars in the book of Revelation. Question 14. The apocalypse predicts the creation of a cure for death by scientists during the end times. What's your discernment, true or false? Reflect briefly. The precise answer is false. The book of Revelation does not predict the creation of a cure for death by scientists. Question 15. The apocalypse predicts a great earthquake that will cause mountains and islands to move. In your view, is it true or false? Take a moment to ponder. Factually, the answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 6, verses 12 to 14. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Question 16. The apocalypse mentions locusts with human faces, women's hair, and lion's teeth. Is it factual or not, true or false? Think it over for 10 seconds. Upon reflection, the answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 9, verses 7 to 8. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold. Question 17. The number of sealed individuals in the apocalypse is 177,000. Your interpretation, true or false, allow yourself 10 seconds to decide. The solution to this puzzle is false. The number of sealed individuals is 144,000, not 177,000. Book of Revelation, chapter 7, Verse 4. Question 18. The apocalypse describes a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. Do you find it true or false? Reflect thoughtfully for a moment.
The much anticipated answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Question 19. The Apocalypse mentions a blue dragon with ten heads and ten horns. What's your conclusion? True or false? Take a brief pause to think. In essence, the answer is false. The dragon mentioned in the book of Revelation is described as red, not blue, with seven heads and ten horns. Book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 3. Question 20. The apocalypse predicts that a beast will rise from the sea having seven heads and ten horns. True or false according to your understanding? Conclusively, the answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 1, we went. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Question 21. The Apocalypse mentions a second beast rising from the earth having two horns like a lamb and speaking like a dragon. Is this claim true or false in your mind? Contemplate briefly. Divinely speaking, the answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon. Question 22. The apocalypse predicts that the beast from the sea will receive worship from people all over the world. What does your wisdom tell you, true or false? Ten seconds to think. With wisdom, we find the answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 13, verses 3 to 4. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Question 23. The Apocalypse mentions the establishment of a holiday celebrating the end of the world. True or false, from your perspective, give it a moment of thought. Illuminating our understanding, the answer is false. There is no mention of the establishment of a holiday celebrating the end of the world in the book of Revelation. Question 24. The apocalypse predicts the extinction of all animal species except for cats and dogs. Your belief, true or false? Reflect for a short time. With patience, we reveal the answer is false. The book of Revelation does not predict the extinction of all animal species except for cats and dogs. Question 25. 
The Apocalypse mentions the discovery of a parallel universe where alternate versions of people exist. Is this assertion true or false in your assessment? Ponder for 10 seconds. The insight brings us to false. There is no mention of the discovery of a parallel universe in the book of Revelation. Question 26. The apocalypse mentions a lake of fire where the devil, the beast, and the false prophet will be tormented forever. Your decision, is it true or false? Take a little time to think. Reflecting on the teachings, the answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Question 27. The apocalypse predicts the discovery of alien life forms during the end times. In your estimation, true or false, contemplate for a brief moment. The answer, in truth, is false. The discovery of alien life forms is not predicted in the book of Revelation. Question 28. The Apocalypse predicts a thousand-year reign of Christ on Earth. Is this statement accurate or not? True or false? Reflect briefly. Revealing the true response, it is... True. Book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Question 29. The Apocalypse describes a new heaven and a new earth, with the old ones passing away. Do you consider it true or false? Pause for 10 seconds to decide. Disclose with care. The answer is true. Book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Question 30. The Apocalypse mentions the construction of a space elevator connecting Earth to the moon. What's your stance? True or false? Allow yourself a moment to think. bringing light to the question. It's false. There is no mention of the construction of a space elevator connecting Earth to the moon in the book of Revelation. That wraps up our true or false Bible quiz about the apocalypse here at Bible Quiz. We hope you had fun and learned something new. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more biblical quizzes. Please drop your score in the comments. We're eager to see how you did and hear what topics you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay sharp in your Bible knowledge.